Is this thing on? Oh, we're going to start the documentary now. Okay. Well, the video killer struck again. He's got a stump. There's nothing he does fits any profile. These last killings? He shot these girls. Which is odd because majority of most serial killers prefer to kill up close and personal. They like to use knives or strangulation. Shooting someone's just too cold and impersonal. That's why he's so hard to catch. If it wasn't for him posting these videos of killing these girls, we wouldn't know half of what we know now. It's not too often we get to look through the eyes of a killer. Or shall I say, the lens of a killer? Now this is the part of the job I hate the most. I have to go into this house and tell the family that their 15-year-old daughter is dead. In times like this, it's, it's best you stay in the car. Heading towards Fremont? Sure. Sweet. Thanks for the ride. Right. Nice car. Thanks. Yeah, we're going to our friend's party. Is Zach going to be so surprised when we show up at his house? Definitely. Where's the wee girls from? Oh, we're just from Sandown. Is 
Isn't Fremont the other direction? Yeah, I don't think we're going the right way. Um, can, can you unlock the door, please? Yeah, please unlock the doors. Why is there plastic on the seat? What are we doing? with the Magic Morning Show with Cooper and Mary. So on the one month anniversary of Jennifer Abade's disappearance, the video killer struck again, this time killing two 15 year old girls from Sandown. Police haven't commented or released the names of the victims, but a graphic video was posted to the internet last night showing the two girls being picked up in a car and brutally shot to death. Uh, police are asking the public to be on the lookout for a stolen 2005 white Mitsubishi Galant that was used in the murders. If anybody has any information regarding this case, please contact your local police immediately. Some scary stuff. It's, a, it's a really scary stuff, a killer on the loose. I know if I had kids, I'd be really, really nervous about letting them play outside by themselves. I mean, you have kids. How do you feel about this? Yeah, well, I keep an eye on mine. Yeah. Well, I, keep a clo- I keep a close eye on mine with something like this going on in our area. Seriously, in this, in this day and age, I guess that's what you have to do. It's true. Kids can't play by themselves anymore. Scary times. Stick around, new sports and weather coming up. Hey, girls. Hey, Mr. Been staying out of trouble? Sure am. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. Hey, I like those boots. Thanks. I got them for my birthday. Is it true the video killer struck again? What? Where are you getting your news from? It's all over the place. He posted a new video this morning. I swear the media knows more about it than we do. Well, have fun and stay out of trouble. We will, Mr. Moore. Well, I've been a detective for about three years now, and uh, been on this case for about a year. And man, it, it's completely frustrating. I mean, we are no closer to catching this guy than when we started this whole thing. Really, Jenny? This is just friggin' ridiculous. I thought we were going to do something today as a family, but obviously your fucking job is a little bit more important than us. Can we talk about this later? I don't give a fuck about them. What are they doing here anyways? I'm not part of your fucking story, so get it out of my face now. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. You fucking leave like you always do. Since Danny's been on this case the last year and a half, I'm lucky I see my wife maybe a couple hours a week. It's like a daughter hardly even knows a mother anymore. It's like catching a serial killer is a little bit more important than staying home with a family. You know, it's not like I'm a stay-at-home dad. You know, I got a full-time job, but I make damn sure I'm home nights and weekends to be with us. If I don't have time for this, Amy, I really don't. Well, you're not going to see me. You're not going to take my calls. I want to know what's going on. If I had anything for you, I'd let you know. We have nothing right now. Obviously! That's why the bastard's still out there killing people, while you and the rest of the donut eaters sit on your ass. Come on, you know that's not true, okay? Listen, I know you're upset, 
I really do. We're trying, okay? Why don't you come upstairs and have a cup of coffee, all right? We'll talk, okay? Come on, I make a bland cup of coffee. Come on, let's go. Seven months ago, my sister was murdered. It ruined me and my family. She was so happy-go-lucky. And then some prick came and took it all away. It's been seven months and the police still have nothing to go on or any idea who did this. We don't even know how she died. All me and my family want is answers. Do you? No, she's one of the very few that didn't have a tape. Mountains and Magic 104 knows all about them. I'm Mary, and here's what's happening. All around New England, we're hearing about the video killer. On the one month anniversary of Jennifer Abade's disappearance, unfortunately, the video killer struck again, this time killing two 15 year old girls from Sandown. Police have not commented or released the names of the victims, but a graphic video was posted to the internet last night showing two girls being picked up in a car and brutally shot to death on a deserted road. Police are asking the public to be on the lookout for a stolen 2005 white Mitsubishi Galant that was used in the murders. If anyone has any information regarding this case, please contact your local police immediately. Scientists warn yeah. these are trying times. Things are a little stressed out. Population, population, but, change, you know, I don't think it's as bad as Jeff makes it seem. Like survival rates of the state's I mean, two largest public he knew what I was getting into when I took this position. To say the seabirds, you know, what he doesn't realize is I'm devoting all of my time to make New Hampshire safe for our daughter. You know, and as long as the video killer is out there, no one's safe. Okay, let's get started. Okay, what we know is the video killer struck again. He was nice enough to videotape the killing and send it to us via email link. Hmm, let me guess. No IP address, no way of knowing where it came from. No. And nothing to incriminate the one suspect that we do have. Our killer was wearing a hidden video camera on his person and he also had one on the dashboard of the compact car that he was driving. Did anything turn up at the crime scene? No. The problem is, it's so random. He's done in less than a minute. There's no witnesses, nothing to follow. Any of his profile changed since the last killing? No. His profile doesn't match anything. His murders are different every time. He just doesn't have any preference to who he kills. Right. But we know that most of his victims are females, OK? We know he's a male. He's Caucasian. He's between 180, 220 pounds, uh, between 5'11 and 6'2", okay? Jim, why don't you and Gabby go pick up Mr. Garrison, 
bring him back and interview him. Danny and I will go review the crime scene. Okay, guys? Yep. family stuff. Well, you know, you don't have to be here. We can we can handle this and just fill you in later. No, no, I want to be here. I want to catch this guy before he kills again. See, this is why I, I'll never settle down. You know? I don't want to have to deal with any of that bullshit. Sometimes I envy you. Jeff will be fine. I'll make it up to him. <laughs> Naughty girl. That's not what I meant. Now listen, I don't want you to know, you know. Okay, so um, we know that he picked the girls up hitchhiking, and then he parked his car right here, and he shot them, but one of them got away because he followed her over here and killed her on the spot, then he went over and took the other girl, dragged her out of the car, and dropped her body right over there. You know, if there wasn't, if there weren't any cars coming, th there wouldn't be any witnesses. Jesus, you know we got a video of the killing, and we still got nothing to go on. Are lucky works a little slow tonight. Don't you think these meetings are starting to get a little tiring? Where were you Wednesday afternoon? Really? You couldn't just ask me that at home? Just answer the question. Uh, let's see, I watched a little Judge Judy and then I did a little socializing on the Facebook. So you're looking at pictures of teenage girls for your spank bank? What's with the hate? Were you alone? Uh, no, there was, um, there was me, uh, myself, and I. Who did you talk to on Facebook? Uh, an old classmate, my dad. Why don't you look at my account? I'm sure you got access to it. Do any film editing? No, unfortunately, Ron Garrison Films has been a little slow since you guys tried pinning that bogus charge on me. Which one? The one where you were secretly videotaping teenage girls at events, or the one where you were stalking a 17-year-old from Centerville? You guys have nothing on me then. You sure as hell got nothing on me now. Don't you get tired of being such a douche? I feel the love, guys. Really. I do. Does this have anything to do with those, uh, those murders that the news is reporting about? That's a shame. Really, it is. Do you guys have any leads in the case? Oh, that'd be a no, wouldn't it? Otherwise, I wouldn't be in here for this bullshit. Why don't you give me a call when you have something a little more substantial? Why don't you sit down? No, I got a jet. Good night. arrogant jerk. Yeah, if he did this, he's really good. Let's go check out his Facebook. Okay. Why are they looking at you as a suspect in this case? Uh, they say I match the profile. But then again, they say that the video killer uh, can't be profiled. How do you match the profile? Well, I used to teach film and editing classes at the school and uh, also I had a video business on the side. <laughs> they tried to bust me for filming underage girls. Did you? No, I was just filming some of the sports events, but because I also shot into the stands, they tried to peg me for being some kind of pervert. What about those rumors we're hearing that you tried to strangle a female student? I'm not gonna substantiate that. I should say she was 18 and it was consensual sex. She liked it rough. If you're not the video killer, why not cooperate with police a little more? Who's to say I'm not the video killer? Hey, look, the law fucked me over years back. I'm not about to help them. You really seem to enjoy all this attention you're getting from people thinking that you might be the video killer. That's the best question you asked so far. Hey, you know, 
He does some good work. It's some of the best stuff I've seen on TV in years. I like it. I usually try to come over here and uh, have a drink before I go next door to my support group. God knows if I didn't, I probably already would have been kicked out for hitting someone in the face. I don't mean to be a bitch, but it's like, do something constructive. Stop crying. Get off your ass and find the killer. Why do you go? Why do I go? I don't know. I promised my mother I would. I mean, it helps. Don't get me wrong. You know knowing that somebody else out there is kind of going through the same thing I am. Do you see that shit? This is all I see 24 seven. Oh my God. How have the cops not caught this guy? It's not like he's trying to hide it. Camera, Kyle, really? Like you haven't seen me naked enough.
Bet you want to see again. Too bad. Ha ha Kyle, I know it's you. Real funny. This isn't funny anymore. Kyle! I really don't want to go in there. Wish me luck. See you tomorrow. Sorry about this morning. I overreacted. I apologize. It's okay. I understand. I'm sorry too. Okay. Have a seat. I won't get to death. Oh, that sounds great. It's starving.
Please tell me you're joking. How are you so fucking calm right now? How can you just sit there like, it's no big deal, you're about to die. I've been here for a month. It's just crazy. Justine was here for three months. God. What did he do to her? Don't tell me. I don't want to know. I can't know. God! How are you freaking out right now? You're about to die. Do you understand that? Don't you want to live? Don't you have something to live for? Can't. I tried. I tried. There's got to be a way out of here. we got to find a way to escape. What is that? He's coming. He's coming. Just, just do what he says. I'll do anything you want. Just please don't hurt me. My dad makes good money. He'll give you anything you want and he won't tell the cops. Please. Please just let me go home. Please. Just tell me what you want from me. Please. Oh, or anything but that. Please. Oh. I'm begging you. Don't touch me. Please stop it. I don't want to wear this. I just want to go home. Please, just let me go home. Please. Okay, I'll put it on. And every night when I close my eyes, I just see my son's dead body lying there. I try to remember him alive and all the good times we had as a family with him growing up, but I can't. Mary, when was the last time you had some sleep? <laughs> sleep? I can't remember the last time I got a good night's rest. What I'd give for that. Have you tried sleeping pills? That with some beer? Now that works for me. Well, that's really not the answer, but that brings up a good question. What helps to get you through the pain so that you can get that good night's rest? Amy, you've been quiet tonight. How about you? I don't know. Being pissed off helps. Well, I'm not sure being angry is a step in the right direction. Well, right now, that's all I've got. What, do you want me to be a basket case like my mother? Oh, I don't How about like my dad? Should I get drunk every night so I don't have to listen to my wife constantly crying? Does that sound better to you? No, but how about instead of getting angry... Well, then I you... guess you're shit out of luck. I am angry. What do you want me to say? Oh, that I wait for the phone to ring? Hoping it was all just a mistake? That I'm going to wake up from this awful nightmare and my sister's going to be okay? The dress I lent her? Do you know it kills me knowing she's never going to wear it again? I'm never going to hear her call me Ames? That's what you're waiting for me to say? I wouldn't hold your breath. What, am I boring you? 
Oh my god, it's him. He's done it again. Please tell me you did not mean the video killer. Yeah. He just posted another video of a girl being killed. Okay, everybody. By us watching this, we're feeding into him. So what's your name anyway? It's Jen. I'm Kelly. Not that you care. So what do you do for fun? You know, you can try talking to me. Maybe make things a little bit easier for the both of us. I'm sorry. What is that? He's coming. What do I do? We are live tonight in Sandown, where one is dead at a home on Sargent Road. Details are limited, but police are telling us that the victim is a woman and appears to be in her early 20s. Right now, homicide detectives are on scene and are trying to piece together what happened. Yeah, this is definitely the video killer. His killings are getting more frequent. We need to find some more clues. Hey, hey guys, you want to not track through the place as a crime scene? Hey, Bill, you want to get the firefighters and the medics out of the house, please? These guys have no respect. Hey, guys. Oh, Long yeah. time no see. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Okay, look. This is what we've got. We've got two victims in the house, but only one DB. Two victims? What makes you say that? This Vic was killed right here in the basement, but we found traces of somebody else's blood upstairs. Is it the killers? Uh, I don't think so. Looks like the person was attacked coming out of the shower. So where's our other victim? Damned if I know. We combed the whole place. We didn't come up with anything. They're outside canvassing the exterior of the house right now. Okay. Let us know if you find anything. You bet. Thank you. Good luck. Another freaking curveball. Yeah. What's up, Gabby? Okay, thanks. Hey, Gabby's sending us a new uh, poster for the video killer. Yeah, the Vic is still alive. What? Since when does he keep them alive? It's not gonna last long. Look, 
He's dressing her up and keeping her. It's only a matter of time before he assaults her. Huh. That's, that's weird. What's that? Oh, nothing. I just, uh, I have that same outfit. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing about this guy makes any sense. That's why he's impossible to catch. I crashed into the night With nothing more to say Hey, JC here at Rockin' and Wait, and I was pressed this with Here Then Gone. Alright, a curfew is now in effect for Rockingham and Stafford counties. Local law enforcement are asking all residents to stay inside and lock all doors. If you must go out, please go in a group. Earlier this evening, the video killer struck again. He posted a new video in which 23-year-old Jennifer Haney from Sandown was murdered. Authorities are urging that if you see any suspicious activity, to please call your local police immediately. Alright people, let's stay safe out there. Let's keep the music rolling here at WTNH with Liz Bills. Hey. Hey. What's up? Well, we can't miss the street and we can't find anything. A few neighbors in the area say they saw or heard nothing. Yeah. Well, our buddy Ron left this morning. The neighbor says he's been gone all day, haven't been back since. Big surprise. Delta 1, go ahead. Delta 1, we have a 1053 on Old County Road in Danville. Copy. Why don't you and Jim go check it out, see if it's our guy. Well, what about Danny? Doesn't she want to go? Nah, she can, she can stay with me. She's going to be pissed. I'll deal with her. Just go. Jesus, now what? Hello? Who? Oh, hey, Brian, what's up? Really, where? Okay. All right, I'm on my way. Listen, I gotta go take care of something. Can you wrap this up and meet me back at the station? Well, sure. What about uh, Gabby and Jim, though? Nah, uh, they're going to check on a potential lead. Like what? I'll fill you in later. I gotta go do something. Guy. Yeah, it looks like he was in the back seat when he attacked her. No defensive wounds? He must have just jumped up and surprised her. You know, the people over in the car over there happened to come across her as they were passing by. They said they saw her earlier down the convenience store down the road. Well, let's hope there's surveillance. Did they say anything about her being alone? Yes, ma'am. They said she was in the car all alone. I'm going to make a call, get someone to check for video. Great idea. Hey, Brian, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, sorry to call you down here, but 
Do you know her? Yeah, I do. What happened? It seems your friend here had a little too much to drink. That's bullshit. I'm fine. I told you to sit there and not say a word. Bite me. Do you want to go to jail? Amy, please. You want to let me talk? What'd she do? She started fighting with the bartender about shutting the TVs off. When he refused, she threw a bottle at it. Was there any damage? No. Look, if you know her, just get her the hell out of here, all right? All right, man. Hey, I'm sorry. Come on, let's go. Oh, back to this shithole anyway. Good! Shut up. All right, I'm sorry, man. Thank you. So you want to tell me what that was about tonight? Yeah. I'm just pissed off. My sister's killer is still out there. Why didn't you tell me you had a suspect? We don't have anything to go on with this guy. Then why is he a suspect? I don't know. He matches certain things that he's just a person of interest. Okay, why? <sighs> I don't know. He's got the same height, same build. And? No, plus he used to teach film editing a while back. Interesting. Yeah, and I mean, this guy really fits the mold. He's, he's in his 30s, he has a job, uh, and he likes to play games with us. Why didn't you tell me any of this before? I can't afford to have the media find anything out. You know, we can't show our hand. That's why we're keeping things hush-hush. Listen, it's just a matter of time before this guy screws up, and we'll be right there to catch him. Do you think he really will? Well, I know it's just a matter of time. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, for saving my ass at the bar tonight. <laughs> no problem. Mom? Yes, dear? Are you and Dad going to get a divorce? What? No. Why would you say that? I don't know. All you and Dad do all the time is fight. Plus, we're never together to do anything. Baby, you and your Dad are not getting a divorce. We're family, and we're going to stay that way. No one is leaving. Good. It's just tough on me and your Dad right now because of work. But it'll get... I promise. You mean when you catch the video killer? Exactly. You no, know, kids at school think it's really cool that my mom has a 
hammer crew following her around all the time. They do? Yeah. I think it's pretty cool too. How many people are there with cameras? Seems like a lot. Well, uh, John back there is always with me. And uh, Dave is sometimes with him. Plus Dennis has a couple. So maybe six? Wow. Kids at school are always coming up to me, asking me about the video color, wanting to know if I know anything. Some of the kids, I even saw the video. Have you? No. Good. I don't want you watching any of that stuff, okay? I won't. Lots of the kids at school are scared. Teachers when you go to school at a recess. Honey, it'll be over soon, okay? I promise. I love you. I love you too, baby girl. Okay, now, you have a good day for me, okay? Okay. Stay safe. Hey. Hey. Any new posts? Yep. This one here came in about 5 a.m. He posted one with the girl in the car on Old Country Road. And he also posted another one showing Kelly Wells chained up in an attic. Is it the same one or is it different? No, this is a new one. You can tell she's wearing a different outfit. Hmm. Huh. Again, she has an outfit just like mine. What do you mean? Uh, it, nothing. I just, uh, I commented to Dennis last week, the last video she was in, she had an outfit like mine, and well, she just has another one. Huh. So you two have the same taste? Maybe. You know, you guys kind of look the same, too. Hmm? Yeah, you look alike. Yeah, you do. Hmm, you think? Look. Okay, boys and girls. Last night alone, we got over a thousand leads. Damn, that's a lot. Gabby, did you pull the surveillance video from the store? Yes, I did. Um, it shows the girl coming out of her car to get air for her tires, going into the store, then you see him coming out of the woods and crawling into her back seat. Oh, now that takes some balls. I know, right? Again, no witnesses. So where are the tapes now? The lab has them. Okay, good. Well, I mean, let's get cracking on these leads, okay? okay? Thank you. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. What's up with you? You seem awfully happy this morning. No, nothing. I just, I got a good feeling about today. Mm, if you ask me, it looks like someone got laid. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Mm -hmm. uh, where'd you get the flowers? I don't know, it just uh, says from a secret admirer. Hmm. Nice to know you have a fan out there. <laughs> I guess. Well, well, that's what happens when you get on TV and you're famous. Well, that's funny, because uh, I don't feel famous. Hmm. Hi, Sean. I'm at the police station where investigators are working on the disappearance of Kelly Wells, the 22-year-old, who was taken from her home more than one week ago. Family and friends are plastering posters all over the state of New Hampshire in the hopes that someone will have information on her whereabouts. I did speak with police early this morning who are not saying whether they're any closer to finding her or the video killer. We have no new information at this time, but we are putting many hours into making sure that we find this girl alive. In a related matter, the video killer is no longer a suspect on the disappearance of Timothy Sosa. Now, Mr. Sosa, you may recall, is the body that was found in the woods near Sandown just recently. We will have more on this story and the disappearance of Kelly Wells later on the broadcast at 5.30. Valerie Pereira, 6 o'clock news. Now, back to you, Sean.
Wow, it's an early day for you. Yep, I promised Jeff and Emily I would go to the baseball game with them. Oh, great. You guys deserve it. Thanks. See ya. Hey Dennis, what's up? Really? Oh, we can't wait until later. I kind of have plans. Uh, can't Gabby or Jim do it? Oh really? Okay. I understand. Yep. I'll be there. So we got a tip from Ron Garrison's neighbor that he was putting video equipment into his car. We also heard from a store clerk who sold him a hunting knife. That allowed us to put a tail on him, and uh, now we're just watching him here. Looks like he may have already staked this place out, and he probably has a subject in mind. Uh, he seems knowledgeable the uh, general layout. So now we just wait and see. Danny and Dennis are around the corner. They're just waiting for our signal to apprehend him. Hopefully we can put this guy away for good. Holy shit. I can't believe we're finally gonna catch this guy in the act. I don't know. Something doesn't feel right. I mean, look at this place. It seems awfully sloppy for the video killer. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? This guy's getting more ballsy. His kills are getting more frequent, and it's just a matter of time before he fucked up. I don't know. I mean, how many times have you heard about copycat killers, right? I believe Ron Garrison wants to be the video killer. I mean, he loves the attention. But just, I think that if he truly thinks he's the video killer, then he won't get caught. You make a point, but I believe in my heart, Ron Garrison is the killer. I hope you're right. It's a waiting game now. Oh, you know what? Maybe not. Have a good night. We have what appears to be a female uh, coming out of a restaurant. It's showtime. Delta One, yes, we have the suspect at 11 o'clock with a female at your one o'clock. All right, this has got to be his next target. Listen, you creep up around the right, and I'll go to the left. Well, I don't want to wait too long. I don't want to get this girl killed. Okay, let's go. Get off the 
I don't want to talk to the other two. That other guy is crazy. Sit down. No, just let me explain. I, I said just want you to sit down before I tase your ass. And you're done with your little games and being in control. Can I talk now? Sure. I just don't know if that's going to do you any good. I know how it looks, but it's not what you think. <laughs> really? You're not going to just let me talk without interrupting me? Okay, Jim. We're listening. I know it doesn't look good, but I'm not the video killer. Sure, yeah, I enjoyed it when everyone thought I was the video killer, but I'm not. I swear, I just wanted to scare the girl. I wasn't going to harm her. So you stalked her, you had a weapon, but you just wanted to scare her. Yes, that's it. Sounds like a bunch of BS. Why would you do that? Because. Because what? Because she was one of those girls involved in that scandal that I had a few years ago. I I just wanted to I just wanted to scare the hell out of her. Well, I think you did that. Do you have any idea how bad this looks for you right now? I could guess. Look, we've got a shitload of evidence against you. You might as well just come clean. I didn't do it. Well, you were gonna do something, weren't you? I mean you were even dressed like him. You can find these clothes anywhere. I mean they even make Halloween costumes like this now. Does that make you proud? Gabby. If you want the judge to show any leniency, you have to help us find Kelly Wells. I'm not the video killer! I... You know what? I'm done talking. I want my lawyer. That's fine. But I suggest while you're waiting for him, you help us find that girl. She's the only thing between you and the death penalty. You know what? I'm done with you guys, too. There's a star of the day! There's my girl! Fucking caught the video killer! Time to celebrate! Looks like you already have been. Fucking ain't right I have been. Did you go back to a normal life? It's still too early to say for sure. What do you mean? The news report just said you caught the suspect in the act. Yes, but something doesn't feel right. What the fuck does that mean? Can we just drop it? I'm fucking believable. What are you upset that you're not gonna fucking be hanging with your partner anymore? Or or is it that you're not gonna be in the spotlight anymore? I, I don't have time for this bullshit. I've had a long night. I'm going to bed. Yeah, good, go to bed. Fuck me, fuck everything. All you fucking care about is a fucking goddamn video killer. You think that you're the only one finding this tough? Well, it sucks for me too. I would love for this to be over, and I would love to celebrate with you, but we don't have the right guy. Good night. Video killer suspect Ron Garrison is free on bail after being arrested last night. Even though Ron Garrison is the only suspect in this investigation, there is not enough evidence to hold him without bail. My client is innocent. Police have no circumstantial evidence to hold him. We are going to see that the state police stop harassing Mr. Garrison. This is causing him to do things he would not do normally. He will be back in court in three weeks' time to address the charges of aggravated assault. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Well, I guess our buddy Ron Garrison made bail this morning. Uh, we don't have enough to hold him as the video killer. So, all we can get him on right now is aggravated assault. What's up, Gabby? Really? Okay, what time was the video posted? 
Yeah, right after Ron made bail. Alright, why don't you see if you can uh, get a tail on him? Okay. You told me he was put away. Amy, what are you doing? Come on, let's go back to bed. Come on. You said that you got the guy and the case was over. We did. We just need a little bit more time. That Come motherfucker on. killed my sister. Why didn't you kill him when you had the chance? It's not that easy. Yeah, so now the prick's out there free to kill again. Listen, he'll be right back in jail. We just need a little more time. Come on, let's go talk about it in private. Come on. Don't touch me. Come on. I'm honestly beginning to think that they're not going to find the guy. That the video killer is never going to be found. I want to find that Ron Garrison and kill the fucker for killing my sister. And what jury is going to convict me after all the innocent lives he's taken? You guys have seen the evidence. Piece of shit. He had a fucking hidden camera. Something wrong with me Cause coursing through my veins I feel the energy Only when the razor Sends the current free
with prisoners in their own homes, residents of Rockingham and Stafford counties are barricading themselves in their homes for fear of becoming the video killer's next victim. Schools attendance rates are at half. Playgrounds are empty. Local businesses are struggling to cope with the lack of activity. Business has been kind of slow with everything that's been happening in the news. It's hard to keep employees, especially after dark. Even an increase in police patrolling and police presence isn't enough. The fear is still there. In fact, many residents are taking up arms in order to defend themselves. As authorities scramble to identify suspects and follow leads, they strongly urge due diligence and extreme caution. Tensions are mounting all over New Hampshire. Today at 315, 15-year-old Jay Lee Currington was stabbed to death in her own driveway. Police are not saying if this is the work of the video killer, but an unknown source close to the investigation is confirming it. We spoke to several neighbors on this quiet street, and they all share the same thing. They are scared to leave their homes. This is ridiculous. I can't send my child to school until the video killer's caught. No one feels safe anymore. I want to know what the police are doing right now. The recent killings have caused gun sales to increase in New Hampshire by 30 percent. Police are also seeing an increase for permits to carry a concealed weapon. Basically right now our concern as a department is the amount of gun permits that are being issued out. Uh, we're, we're not comfortable with that. We, we feel the common sense approach is the best way to go for residents right now. Um, the locking of your doors and windows in your home, your vehicles, uh, if you're traveling anywhere, uh, travel with someone. Um, keep an eye on your neighborhood and your neighbors. Uh, if you see anything out of place, don't hesitate to call 911 and get a hold of us. I'm sure you saw the fireworks last night. Jeff must be really pissed. He took Emily and left the house really early this morning. This damn case is causing me to lose my family. Another post. Her wearing another outfit like mine is not a coincidence. Oh my god. Oh my god, my clothes are missing. He's dressing her in my clothes. Oh my god. Oh my god, I gotta call Jeff and Emily, make sure that they're okay. Oh my god, that motherfucker has been in my house. What are you looking at? Girl, you better get the fuck away from me. Do you know how long I've waited? I've dreamed of killing you like you killed my sister. 
What are you talking about, you dumb bitch? I don't know you! Just get the fuck away from me before you're sorry! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You okay? Buddy, I'm fine. just leave me the fuck alone. Mind your own business. I'm no young girl. I'll kick your ass, video killer. Is everything Come, all right? Leave me alone, man. I don't want any trouble. Is that what my sister said to you before you killed her? She's asking you a question, video killer, huh? Oh, now you want to fight, huh? Oh, 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 oh. over here. He was in my house. The video killer was in my house. Are you sure? Absolutely. I knew those were my clothes and now they're missing. Okay. All right. Listen, first thing we need to do is get a crew over here. I'm going to have them comb the place okay. and see if we find anything. Okay. Okay. Um, where is Jeff and Emily? That's the thing I'm a wreck about. They're not answering their phone. What if he has them? I'm sure they're fine. Okay. Let's not get out of us help. But what Come on. Okay. I'll just die. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. Look at my fucking wife. Oh, hey, I was worried about you. Why didn't you answer your phone? I'm sure you were worried. Dad told us to shut them off. Oh, baby girl. I was so worried. Mom, we're okay. I know. I know. Can you just go to your room for a minute and give me and your dad a minute to talk, please? Okay, sure. Okay. You should have answered your phone. I've been trying to call you. Why, you want to know what time you and your fucking boyfriend should get dressed and leave? Is that Jeff. Jeff! Come on, man, it's not like that. Whatever, I don't give a fuck. You can have her. But also, no, get the fuck out of my house, all right? And fuck you people! Dennis. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I know, but still. Listen, I understand how he feels, okay? Listen, why don't you go talk to him? I'm gonna get MCU over here, okay? Okay, thanks. I don't know if anyone can see this or if anyone ever will, but I just want to tell my mom and dad I love them. I miss you two so much. Hey sis, I wish I was there with you right now, hanging out, watching movies, talking about boys. I know I wasn't the best sister in the world, but I really do love you. Mom, I'd give anything for you to make me some homemade pizza. You're my best friend and I miss you so much. Dad, I am so sorry for all the hell I put you through. I'd do anything to make it right. I want you to know that you're the best daddy in the whole world. I want to come home 
so bad. I miss everybody so much. I never take anything for granted ever again. I'll never get out of here. I just can't take it anymore. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Earlier today, video killer suspect Ron Garrison was beaten by a mob in front of his house on the way leaving to meet with his lawyers. The police have no comment, but hospital officials say he is in stable condition and will make a full recovery. At the moment, no arrests have been made in the case, but word is one of the attackers was 25-year-old Amy Giordano, who is the sister of missing student Jessica Giordano. Hey. Hey, how's Danny doing? She's okay. She's a little shaken up. Yeah, I bet. You find anything yet? Not yet. What's the word on Ron Garrison? Uh, he should be released from the hospital later today. It's a shame they didn't finish him off. Yeah, well, I think we're gonna need to keep a close eye on him. Did you know that Amy had something to do with this? Really? Mm-hmm. Man, she's getting to be a real pain in the ass. Did the lab come back with anything from the killer's post? Uh, they said it'd be ready later today. All right, why don't you guys go see if they found anything, and I'm gonna go talk to Ron Garrison. Okay. Hey, Dennis. Yeah? Can you uh, take everyone with you for a while? Because Jeff and I talked, and we just need some time alone. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, the crew can go grab something to eat for a couple hours. Okay, thanks. Okay. Did you find anything for me? Uh, yeah, I did. It's actually right here. It's nothing big, but it might help. Let's 
see that tattoo? It's on the inside of his wrist. I have seen this tattoo. I'm I'm sure of it. Ron Garrison? Maybe. Well, you could take that one. I, I got another copy. Well, it'll be easy enough for us to find out. Thank you. John, put the camera down. What's the matter? Huh. Jeff and I talked and we can't have our lives filmed right now. We need to call it a night. I'll talk to you about it tomorrow. Hey, yeah, but we no, need to... I can't do this right now. You need to go. All right, guys, you heard it. Let's um, pack it up. Yep, I'm listening. Really? Oh, great. Yeah, that's the evidence we need. What exactly is this tattoo? Really? Alright, listen, I'm gonna have to call you back.